Former Denver Bronco Parrish Cox cleared of any wrongdoing. A jury deciding Cox never sexually assaulted a woman in his Lone Tree apartment. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart joins us now live. Mark, even though the trial is over, it could be a long time before we know what really happened. And as you know, Dale, we requested to look at the evidence file, but for the moment, it is off limits. Parrish Cox and his legal team are trying to keep it sealed. Yet another reason why this NFL rape case could still linger. Great. While he said little in person, Parrish Cox is relieved he's not going to prison. It was a very difficult process for them. Hours after the verdict, the former Bronco went on Twitter to thank God, saying the Lord has his ways of work. He also responded to his critics, tweeting, people have opinions, but at the end of the day, they are only opinions. Cox is accused of raping a woman in his Lone Tree apartment. At first, he denied having sex with her, but DNA later proved he got her pregnant. I can't say exactly what the jury was thinking, but it seemed like she was character assassinated. CU law professor Aya Gruber points out the accuser's drinking habits and carefree lifestyle took center stage characterizations that may have swayed the jury. In making that call, if she had been a choir girl, maybe they would have seen the evidence through a different lens. Cox's NFL future is still in limbo, but Gruber fears what happened in the courtroom may have a lasting impact. This is the type of case that potential complainants see and say, I'm not going through that. As far as the alleged victim, she started crying when the verdict was read and said, quote, oh my God, what's happening? Live in Denver tonight, Mark Stewart, 7.